Look around. What do you see? Whether it's pristine coastlines, majestic and natural foliage, or a bustling beach being enjoyed by residents and visitors alike, throughout Santa Barbara County, you don't have to look far to notice an enormous variety of beautiful outdoor spaces. Since 1890, Santa Barbara County has worked to preserve and enhance the outstanding treasures we have in our park system. Whether it's a relaxing stroll through natural surroundings or a more challenging trek to a secluded beach, these gems are sprinkled throughout Santa Barbara County and are ready to be enjoyed. We have over 27 parks and open spaces, over 7,200 acres, and over 30 miles of trails that we maintain and manage. We have one of the most diverse park systems anywhere. I don't think there's an agency out there that can say they have the type of amenities that the residents of Santa Barbara can enjoy day in and day out. As we explore our county, we see the great diversity of its natural open spaces. We can begin right in the heart of downtown Santa Barbara. The Santa Barbara County Courthouse Sunken Gardens are a quiet sanctuary in the middle of a bustling city. The award-winning grounds also liven up for special community events such as the Foundation's free summer film series. The gardens and events have become the picture-perfect core of Santa Barbara. At Arroyo Burro Beach, visitors can find the meeting place of tree-covered hills and the sandy beach. Visitors there can take in sweeping views of the ocean and the Channel Islands. Only a few miles away, a 20-acre park overlooks Mission Creek. Rocky Nook Park is set among striking oak and sycamore trees. This area was once a favorite camping spot of local Native Americans during the days of the California missionaries. Today's visitors can experience not only the remarkable scenery, but enjoy barbecue facilities, a children's play area, and horseshoe pits. And if you want to stop by another fun environment for friends and family, Goleta Beach and Pier is the perfect spot. This half mile of sandy beach and grassy knoll was granted to the county by the state of California in 1970. It's a place where people can gather for a barbecue, a game of horseshoes, or bring their family to play for the day. Locals and students alike enjoy its soaring palms and scenic beach. One fixture at Goleta Beach that can't be missed is the Goleta Pier. This 1,500-foot fishing pier was originally built during World War II. In the 1960s, it doubled in size to its current length and is now a popular vantage point and fishing pier. Avid fishermen have encountered a large variety of fish in the pier's waters. Head back onto the mainland and you'll feel like you're at another world at the San Marcos Foothills Preserve. This recently acquired 200-acre preserve overlooking Santa Barbara will soon provide another chance to explore trails and offer environmental and cultural education. Parks provide a huge quality of life uh, for the residents and visitors to the area. It gives a place where families and, and friends can go and interact and commingle and socialize. We're also stewards of the lands. We act as the, as the organization that protects the resources this community has to offer. San Marcos Foothill Preserves is a perfect example of that. The biggest responsibility we have is maintaining the integrity of uh, what is an, an incredible piece of land with a lot of history with Santa Barbara. One treasured resource for both residents and visitors is Kachuma Lake. It is a perfect combination of natural space and recreational activities. For over 50 years, the area has offered everything from camping, boating, fishing, a place for the perfect picnic, or an educational experience at their nature center. Heading north, one of Santa Barbara County's flagship parks is located in Santa Maria. With ample open space for everything from frisbee golf to pony rides or a family walk next to the pond, Waller Park offers an outdoor paradise for residents and visitors. Not far from this refuge, you can enter what feels like a private paradise at Point Sal. With the dedicated time and effort of county staff, the reserve, trails, and beach are again accessible. With 80 acres of land and one and a half miles of coastline, the area is home to coastal sage, chaparral, and the giant coreopsis. The reopened road means Point Sal once more claims its title as the most rugged and least accessible county park, a designation those who visit can be proud of. Yet, 
With all the parks in Santa Barbara County, these jewels are only the beginning. Throughout Santa Barbara County, there are many hidden gems that residents can be proud of. The beauty and diversity that surrounds us impacts our lives more than we know. And it's only with the dedication of our county park staff and committed residents that we can continue to enjoy the place that we know as home. In many communities, it's a struggle for people to find open space and, and park areas where they can go and recreate and enjoy time with their families. People actually come here to Santa Barbara to spend time with their families in a more natural setting, on a more spacious beaches, uh, on lakes. We have ideal weather here. Santa Barbara wouldn't be what it is without our park system. We have over three million visitors to attend uh, Santa Barbara County Parks annually. And if you break that down into an economic forecast of about $20 per person per visit, you're talking of huge indirect economic benefit to the community as well. For more information about all the parks the County of Santa Barbara has to offer, or if you're interested in preserving, volunteering, or improving county parks, visit sbparks.org.